you have prepped everything and now what? A lot of you have told me that you have maybe gotten the meal prep part down, you know how to batch cook individual items, but you're having a little bit of trouble combining them into meals every week. So I know that looking at all of these different individual components might be like, ah! but I am here to help. I'm going to show you a few meal ideas on how to combine all of these and show you just how easy it can be to put meals together. So as I mentioned in the last video where I did the whole meal prep, I did make a downloadable PDF in case any of you guys are interested in this specific meal prep. There are lots of recipe ideas on there already and it kind of walks you through the step-by-step -step guide of doing a meal prep and then putting it together into different combinations to make different meals each week. So I'm just gonna walk you through some of those combinations today. And also if you didn't get that meal prep PDF yet and you want it, I'm gonna link it in this description box below as well. And it's totally free. You can go download it and check it out has all the recipes if you're interested. So if you're ready, let's get started. First up is breakfast, of course. I made two types of oatmeal for you guys. I showed you how to do a pumpkin spice oatmeal and also a berry blast oatmeal. It's basically the oatmeal Q and I eat almost every day. We love berries in our oats, so that's what we usually do. But I thought since it's fall, it would also be fun to do a pumpkin spice flavor. And I actually love doing oatmeal in the morning because you don't have to cook anything and you can still have a hot breakfast ready to go in about one minute minute. What I like to do, as you guys saw, is to make a big pot of steel cut oats in the Instant Pot. You can season them however you like. You can add berries or other fruit. Or like you guys saw, we also did a pumpkin spice flavor. And then when you're ready to eat it in the morning, you just scoop out the amount that you want and reheat it on the stovetop or in the microwave. I usually do microwave because it's easier and faster, but feel free to do whatever you like. And then toppings are always optional, but I personally like to do them. It adds a little bit more flavor and excitement to the breakfast. So a couple different topping ideas could be your favorite kind of plant milk, maple syrup, chopped dates, fresh bananas, any other fresh fruit that you like, a tablespoon of flax or chia, raisins, goji berries, or even like molasses on that pumpkin spice oatmeal. That would be really good too. So next up is lunch. One of the lunch options I really like, as you guys probably know, is a power bowl or what I call a power bowl. Some people might call it a Buddha bowl. I think it's basically the same, but essentially it's a bowl that gets heated up. You can add different grains to it. You can add beans to it. You can add lots of different veggies to it. So I thought that this would be a really good way to use up the maple miso roasted veggies. And then another lunch option I really like is to do a salad. So for this meal prep, I decided to do a beans and greens salad bowl, which is essentially some cannellini beans, some of the roasted veggies, and then any other salad greens you want. You can also add in some quinoa if you want, and then of course your salad dressing on top. Now for dinner, I decided to do a combination of soups, pasta salad, and sandwich. Now soup is really fun because you can make it different every single time that you heat it back up by adding different things into it. So for example, the first time I had it, I added some chopped broccoli and also some cannellini beans, and it gave it that kind of chunky soup texture, which is nice. But you could also add in like a spoonful of quinoa or some of the chickpea pasta, or you could just leave it plain and just have a thinner soup, no chunkiness at all, and then serve it like with a side of hummus toast or with a side salad.
Okay, so those are just a few of the meals that I had planned out from last week's meal prep. Again, those are all in that PDF if you guys wanna check that out. And in addition to that, I'm going to show you two bonus recipes today to use up with that meal prep because I don't know about you guys, but I bought one of those really large cans of pumpkin. So I had so much extra pumpkin, I was like, I think we need some more pumpkin recipes. Now, I personally am not super pumpkin crazy during fall. I like one or two pumpkin recipes and then I'm usually good. But since I do have the pumpkin to use up, I thought it would be fun to do a couple more pumpkin recipes. So first up is a pumpkin smoothie. I thought that this would be a good alternative to oatmeal if you wanted to do something different for your breakfast or even just a snack. You can boost up the protein by adding some of the cannellini beans or a vegan protein powder if you want. So that is the first recipe we are going to make. And then the second bonus recipe that I'm going to show you guys is a pumpkin pasta sauce. We're just gonna make it a little bit of a cheesy flavor by adding some nutritional yeast, but it'll also still have that nice pumpkin fall flavor. Now another way to take these meals to the next level and make them a little bit tastier and a little bit different each day is to change out the dressing. I found that once I had a few different dressings that I loved, it was very easy to make a meal taste totally different than the day before just by changing the dressing. So I personally like to make smaller quantities of dressings, use those for two to three days and then change it up and make a new one. And actually, if you guys are looking for any new dressing ideas, I did just make a video with five oil-free dressings. I'm going to leave that right here you can watch it after this video. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.